An elite unit of Ivorian soldiers who mutinied on Tuesday in Adiake have been shooting in the air again on Wednesday, despite negotiation attempts by the chief of staff's office. According to reports, the shooting has started again, with the troops telling women to return home on a market day. The Ivorian special forces, who report directly to the president's office, have accused their commanders of stealing part of their salaries. The trouble comes a month after regular soldiers staged a mutiny over pay and conditions. The government agreed to the demands of the mutinous soldiers, some of whom were former rebels who backed then-president Alassane Ouattara. But the payout has angered other segments of the military, raising fears of a resurgence of the violence seen during Ivory Coast's 10-year civil war, which ended in 2011. This is unfortunately an attitude we've seen recently, and the government immediately began discussions with the soldiers who were involved. The government would like to say that we condemn and deplore these violent forms of protest. Unfortunately, this way of expressing demands risks using up state resources. This kind of demand means that the state has fewer means of addressing the issues.